up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2011 mini cooper silver on the outside with black leather interior with a factory panoramic power moonroof and only 54,000 miles it has a clean title and also qualifies for carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty we're located at 3200 northwest 37th street miami florida 33142 is our zip code Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Four-wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode. Let's go ahead and let's get inside of it, get it started, show you the interior options. Again, it's a panoramic moonroof, and I'll show you that from the inside. <coughs> door panels are all black. Of course, you got power mirrors, power windows, power door locks, a manual tilt wheel, cruise control. You got seat side airbags, as well as curtain side airbags on the entire side it starts up in the front here and it finishes up back here I don't know if you can see it through the glass I'll show it to you when we get inside the vehicle before I sit down let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts tears or burn holes as a matter of fact there are no burn holes anywhere in the seats door panels headliner or carpeting and there's no odor of smoke so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker has these uh, factory um, rubber mats for uh, from Mini Cooper. Let me go ahead and sit down, get inside of it, get it started, show you the interior options. All right, I'll show you how this key works. You get the key and you put it in the slot, push it in, hit the step on the brake, and hit the button. You don't have to hold it; you just press it once. Let's start off by uh, let me put the air conditioning a little higher because it's nice and hot outside today. And uh, let's go ahead and open up the moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. Now this um, this is a glass moonroof which is tinted but also has a shade here to block out the sun. We're going to go ahead and open it up and leave it open for now. And the same thing in the rear, you have a shade back there as well. Now the front portion is the one that opens up. The one in the rear is just for you to look out of. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, leave, we're gonna leave that open for the duration of the video for better lighting, okay? Uh, all right, uh, the car has 54,053 miles. Uh, up and above that, it's the outside temperature. And um, above that, you got the, uh, the your speedometer, which of course right now we're not moving, so it's registering zero miles. To the right of it, you got uh, the gear we're in, which is right now I'm parking. And um, and to the right of that is a triple odometer. Let me show you how the, about the automatic uh, transmission with the manual shifting mode here. All right, reverse, neutral, and drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make a shift manually, you go ahead and come down here and you move the lever over to the left, and you'll see that this manual shifting mode portion lights up. And what you do is. If you want to make a shift up, you tap down. If you want to make a shift down, you tap up. Show you how that looks like over here. We're going to put it back in drive. See how the D is there. So now we're going to move over here. Now you're in manual mode. And then you get the shift up to tap back and downshift, uh, pushing it up. Okay, but that doesn't interest you. You don't, you don't need to, um, you don't want to use that. You can just leave it on the D and the automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you. Okay, you got your uh, traction control over here, your sport mode cup holders here in the center with a cigarette light adapter for your chargers your power window switches are here on either side and power door lock is in the center your fan and AC controls are all in here put the car back in park there's your uh, little slot for your CDs uh, let's see what else is going on we get the stereo on you can raise the volume right here now we can find a station with music All right, so you raise the volume here, lower it here, 
these buttons to the right, these two arrows, these are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. This is your button for your voice commands. You hold that down and talk. And this, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you're going to hang up and answer the phone over here. Cruise control on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Uh, you got your hazard uh, um, switch up here in the top. And while we're there, let's go ahead. And by the way, you do have the uh, Hardman Carden stereo sound system. And let's go ahead and pan over the uh, dashboard area so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, or cracks. Really nice condition. Up in the top here, you got your uh, power moonroof switch and then your light switch for the uh, dome lamps up here. Uh, let's see what else. Your main glove box is over here. Get your emergency brake here in the center and the center console here for you to rest your elbow. Let's pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's also in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Really nice condition inside and out. All right, we're pretty much done up with the front here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the car. We're going to leave the moonroof open still for better lighting. Now, to turn off the car, you don't have to step on the brake. You just simply hit the button. Now, to release the key, you're going to push in and then pull it out. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's have a look in the back seating area. You do have a little bit of storage on these side pockets over here. Okay, to access the back seating area, you grab around here and you're gonna pull up on this here, okay? Now this is a uh, four passenger vehicle, two in the front and two in the back. Now behind these plastic uh, covers, which pop out, are anchors for your baby car seat. So you can put your baby car seat on either one of these two rear positions. And then you also have the heavy duty rubber mats back here as well. So not just in the front, but in the rear. And you got a cup holder here in the center. And like I said to you before, you have uh, curtain side airbags for the rear row passengers as well. <coughs> okay. <coughs> let's go ahead and let's uh, walk around to the back here. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. There's not cracked, pitted, or peeling. Right rear tail light. You have a rear wiper back here. And uh, your rear window defogger. Let's have a look inside the trunk. This is your cargo area. And uh, these seats can be folded down to go into cargo mode by simply pulling on here and pushing them down and they will go ahead and lay down completely flat alright and you do have a cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers as well as courtesy lights so you can see at night alright right front door panel sure by now you notice and the panels have no cuts no tears no burn holes, no cracks, none of the speaker covers are damaged. Give you another look at the passenger seating area here from a different angle. Alright, before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page, up at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.